So this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're going to be looking at April 12th through the 13th and the energy that you guys are going to experience during this time frame. So let's get into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe so that you can join the tribe so that you never miss a beat whenever we post in the future. Also, if you are interested in getting a personal session with me at any point, just check out the description. That information is always listed there for you. And if you want to see daily horoscopes, which I did have to take a break from um, because my mental health was permitting me to, I had a lot going on in terms of personal stuff. Um, so I will be posting again, but you can follow me on Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot or on Twitter at Mystical Crystal, just like how it's spelled here on YouTube. But let's go ahead and lay the cards out, Pisces. So the overall energy, we do have the two of wands, your current energy, page of cups, the challenge, page of swords, advice from your spirit guides, ace of wands in reverse, energy surrounding love. We have the magician, career and finances, the lovers and outcome. We have the hangman. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So first card that we do have here. We have the two of wands. And let me back this up just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, good. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> so we have the two of wands here. So this is you having to figure out what's the best course of action for you moving forward in terms of just in general your life. But for a lot of you, this could be like you have a, creative thing that you may be investing a lot of effort and energy into and this is you having to decide if you're going to branch off and do something totally different maybe kind of in the same field but just a little different or if you're going to continue on the same path that you're on now for others of you this is just in general you having to make some decisions in terms of whether or not you're going to continue the path that you're on now in career or the relationship that you're in or, you know, whatever said thing that may be in question. Or if you're going to go in a different direction in terms of your course of action. So this is you having to go into decision making mode, almost in a sense, to figure out what is best for you in terms of the grand scheme of things. Okay. Okay. Now, when it comes to your current energy, we have the page of cups. So this is you recognizing that someone that you may have feelings for, maybe slightly a little immature and maybe needing to grow up a little bit more to be the person that you need them to be romantically. Some of you, you may even have moments where you're tired of drama that may be around you. This could be work drama, uh, drama within the family, whether that's like mother father drama or like just relatives or like family drama in terms of you and the person you may have children with not being on the same page here. Um, another thing with the page of cups, someone around you, you just may be tired of them just inciting issues. And you may even have someone around you that you're romantically interested in. They're charming, but they also may be very, fickle at the same time or unable to really match their actions with their their actual words in a sense and this could be a water sign around you a cancer pisces or scorpio or really anyone who you may have invested feelings for or just someone around you who's a little immature okay <laughs> now the challenge we do have the page of swords so the challenge may be that you have someone around you who's really petty during this time frame. And really, this could be anyone. This is literally not limited to anyone in specifics. This is the energy of just someone being extremely petty. Someone who may say things without a, uh, a regard of how it may affect other people. Um, what else? Some of you may have ideas that you would like to pursue. Ooh, the card fell. Ideas you would like to pursue, but you may have a lot of questions or concerns in terms of whether or not it's worth it. You could be slightly questioning self as well. What else? 
yeah, mainly this is some of you guys questioning self and whether or not the path that you're on is the right path. And you could be second guessing yourself, even though you know what you're doing, regardless of the trials and tribulations you've been on is a part of your path. So it's like kind of second guessing yourself, but advice here from your spirit guides with the ace of wands in reverse, there's definitely a need for you to get your creativity going again. Um, for some of you, there's like a burnout that may have taken place. Some of you may have been overworking yourself to a point where you feel burnt out at this point, or some of you are just losing a sense of motivation because just the things around you may have made you kind of not be as motivated for the things that you genuinely care about and the things that you have an interest in. Um, what's another thing? Some of you guys are denying yourself the opportunity to get into entrepreneurship or to do the thing that you've had as an idea for the longest. Some of you want to open a restaurant or you want to do this, you want to do that, but you're almost denying yourself the opportunity to even explore that opportunity because of fear of not being successful or it just not making sense in the end. this water <laughs> um also some of you just need to get your mojo back in terms of dating putting yourself out there so that you can meet people if you are experiencing a level of loneliness and a dry love life okay um oh random thing too if you guys are experiencing a a lack excuse me of sexual drive in your relationship you guys may be needing to try new techniques or see exactly where that's stemming from. But, um, okay, when it comes to love specifically, we have the magician. So some of you could be feeling as if you're dealing with a manipulator or somebody who has manipulative tendencies. Others of you, it's more of you trying to either manifest someone back into your life or you want things to be different. You are trying to make changes in your love life, whether this is like you being single and wanting to meet someone new um, and trying to open up more or you just trying to, you know, try different ways of handling your relationship or your approach or what have you. Um, and for a lot of you, you're realizing that a lot of the things that you're accepting or you were accepting, you are in control of that. So this is you guys realizing you need to be more deliberate in the people that you're, you're dealing with or more purposeful, I should say. And when it comes to career and finances, we have the lovers. So I think some of you guys, your personal life may be affecting your career in some ways. For some of you, you could be not giving it your best shot like how you used to, or you may not be, like I said, feeling this motivated. But with the lovers card, this is you having to make head over heart decisions in terms of your career. Some of you, you want to move more into a different direction, um, maybe in the same field, but just in a different direction or for some of you completely in a different direction. And others of you, you're having to make some personal changes, personal decisions that may affect your career in some sort of way. Okay. Some of you, if you're in business with your partner, you may be kind of questioning whether or not that's a smart idea moving forward, especially if things are rocky in the relationship as of right now. Now, last card, we have the hangman representing the outcome. So this is the energy of you realizing that your perspective really is needing to change in terms of your situation. Because for a lot of you, you could be having a viewpoint that your situation is a lot worse than what it is, or that you're helpless in some sort of case, or that certain areas in your life are stagnant because of outside forces, but it may be more of a perspective thing than an outside force thing. And that's something you guys will come to realization during this time frame. Some of you may be even putting a pause on certain like projects or even relationships that are a little too confusing as of right now to get personal understanding. Okay, so this is what I see. I hope you took whatever you needed to take from this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe, check out the description if you would like to get a personal with me. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.